already part number five about hydraulic system instead of mechanical system uh steering system i mean on this board in the previous part we installed helm pump don't ask me why you don't see it there so in this part we will install computer and uh, autopilot computer and controller for autopilot the hole is already there yeah because i'm doing this i'm recording this after i did all holes oh spoiled everything so we also put uh, a switch for trim tops it will be in this part for trim tops why in this part because it's quite difficult to make all in specific sequence in this board so we will also look at the packaging of the auto pilot and its controller so let's go so i think it's important to consider the package content uh, so that we can remember what we have here yeah, parts included the computer itself it's here that is very clear the second one is the power cable which goes with uh, the fuse so it's here fine then uh, drive cable drive cable it means the cable that will be connected to the pump so it's here and you can see here yeah power drive so they have connected and three ends from another side so we will connect to this pump uh, yeah so then we have feedback cable i don't have feedback yeah so feedback cable again yeah this one with Three ends again, and then an MIA an MEA 2000 uh, 0.6 meter. This one, so feedback. They know that not everyone use feedback, so they have a cup here and network. Yeah, it goes here, and then to our T connector, and actually T connector T joiner. They also have here yeah that small guy and they have that's uh, i i i really like this also fixing screws seven is here and uh, they are quite good for my case where i installed uh, um, 12 millimeter 10 millimeters plastic i think it will be quite well fit there and i don't need to find my own screws yeah, then warranty card, it was somewhere there. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's there. And there we have some other surprise that is not included here. Which is, which is, which is... Uh, Noctu drive pump cable joiner. And actually, I don't know what is that yet. So I didn't find, find what is this. And... Uh, yeah, maybe later I will find out and tell you what is this later. Then let's look at what they say in the user manual about connection. So connection, connection. Yeah, that's we consider it power drive feedback. We don't have a network. That's fine. Here is nothing interesting. I think yeah the drive so in my case it's reversible pump and it means just three and four red and black two wires actually whereas three and four i will need to figure out yeah why they don't see it hmm. that's quite interesting okay feedback i don't have because it's quite complicated to install in my transom dimensions i don't need them and here wiring diagram it's everything is quite clear here yeah no yeah to me it's clear so um, that's it well i got the point from the name mm, yeah joiner and from how it looks uh, they offer a ceiling uh, um, solution for connecting their cable with the pump cable but i am not going to use it i i don't like it i can do it better actually but yeah well quite interesting idea and why they don't co don't cover this in the user manual i don't know maybe in the bigger user manual but not here 
And guys, I think uh, this kit was also a part of this set with the computer and AP44 with this computer. I think so, because you know, I found that I bought uh, the study kit before I bought this computer. So, and uh, this kit has the same components. I think it was included here. I have a kind of mess already here. Never buy anything to build the Inmia 2000 network before you bought all equipment you need, because probably everything is already there. Yeah, so the injection cable, power injection, two resistors, uh, T-connectors and backbone cable. Um, so, um, I have another video about how I built enemy 2000. Either have or will have, so the link will be in the description. Before I lost everything, let's um, let's let's check uh, packaging parts included. So here it says display unit plus removable bezel. So uh, well, the display unit itself, yeah, it's quite big. I would say um, I didn't expect that that is that big. And the bezel is there, yeah. So separately. Uh, then we have drop cable, uh, 0, 06 meters, and T connector. T connector is uh, here, and uh, a short drop cable we have here. And then we have uh, mounting screw, s mounting screws. Yeah, they are there. They are there. And together with this part seven which is called jig, uh, screw jig. If I understood correctly, I didn't check it yet attentively. It's probably something that will help to put screws to the screen without damaging it. That's at least my idea. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. So, and then we have sun cover. That is nice. Absolutely nice. I couldn't find uh, in internet before I buy if this is included. And I couldn't find this uh, to be bought alone, at least in Finland. I think even in Amazon, I was looking in, in America, in the US, so still can't find it. Uh, it's very important when you drive uh, for protection, ag protection against stones. And actually, when you keep this open console board outdoor, yeah, it's not just about the sun, it's about uh, other rain and everything. And finally, the mounting template. Yeah, not finally, but it was 0.6. Uh, and they have very nice uh, mounting template. Uh, I will get back to this later. And of course, some kind of instructions that are somewhere there, some current warranty cards and so on. Yeah, okay, that's what we have here. So that's the template they have. Uh, quite good template. Yeah, I like the design. I will show you later. And the place where I'm going to install it, I decided let it be here. Here was the old switching panel. And uh, actually, I first wanted to place another uh, big C. Uh, bl blue C systems uh, panel here, but it actually occupied so big space. Uh, yeah, it's just waste the space. I decided it later, even before I decided to buy this Simrad screen. So I think, uh, not think anymore, but I decided to place this AP44 uh, here with some bias to there something like that we will look soon so that i have uh, like uh, my interest is to have more space here in case if i want to install uh, another panel with uh, voltmeters or something else here i don't know if it will fit uh, but we will see and instead of the switching on the uh, instead of the big switching panel I decided to put uh, just small switches somewhere here special switches I will show you also them 
So, and because for trim tabs I decided to use just switches instead of auto solutions. I have the whole video about uh, switches, how I did temporary switches. Uh, um, but this I just bought on AliExpress, uh, it was cheap. And I'm not sure about the quality, that's why I also pushed uh, just the panel in case if I decide to put uh, C-first switches there. We will, by the way, I think we'll test now if they fit this panel. And the panel is good uh, there for testing the place. So, and definitely that's the best place on the dash for trim tops, steering with the right hand and the left hand for uh, tops manipulation and here uh, we have uh, more space for something else so yeah i don't see any better place than here uh, well uh, trim tops and autopilot are two different subjects but because i'm preparing uh, the dash in the same time uh, so you will see both things and depending on what the video will uh, come first i will put the links about the tops about the autopilot because yeah i remind you i am doing a crazy big project about everything absolutely everything in this board new sound uh, hydraulic steering and so on so um that's why it's uh, it doesn't have any logical sequence everything is depending on another things uh, i have a video i don't remember was it in english or not uh, but yeah i will put the link about why i decided not to use any automatic solutions i don't even remember the name and why i decided that uh, just uh, these are enough so if you want you you can watch this video as well as about lenko on this finish board uh, how it fits and how it works so um and there is about the temporary switch also i have video but you don't uh, need to make a temporary switch for testing you can just buy this i if i remember right it was 18 dollars on aliexpress uh, and uh, it can as a temporary solution is quite uh, good enough i think i think at least it looks like that stop talking and so uh, i cannot even install this helm pump here for hydraulic steering because i need to cut this place uh, for autopilot and for, for trim tops and the jigsaw uh, will not have room if the pump is installed so that project need to be first yeah and look why this template is good yeah they have uh, these centers here yeah so if they ask first to drill this 14 millimeters drill so it means that i can locate this template here mark these holes drill these holes and then i know where i need to cut to cut out this area yeah it's quite good solution
well it's going quite tight as you notice yeah so i don't know if i need to fix this or not actually guys i noticed that there is no big room for uh, there is no tolerance good tolerance for installation purposes you can see how thin this place so actually you need to be very precise Fortunately, I was able to do this with my kita and my hands. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Well, so I think I will fix a little bit and that's it. And you have seen that trim tops was fine, absolutely fine. Uh, so the computer... Uh, NAC, NAC, second NAC2 is installed as you see. The final connection will be done later because I have a lot of things to do here for electric, electric, yeah. So that's why it's not right now. So subscribe to see this, the next part. I also will install, I don't remember if I told in this part or in previous part, a water sensor here, here. I socket water sensor that will notify me about, let me show you, about water there, this water sensor, that one, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, wait a moment, wait a moment, yeah, poor water detection because the board can be flooded, this board can be flooded, it's open board, uh, can be flooded by the rain, so uh, I will install this uh, sensor with eye socket plug to get notifications about of this flood by text voice or whatsapp so it will be here uh, because the pump is too low and the computer i don't want this to be flooded i want to be notified so uh this will i will show probably i don't know yet in uh some of the next parts maybe in the next one and so, because uh, it's it's not right now, um, subscribe to see the next part. And I think I will end uh, this part uh, uh, with... Uh, I will show... Then, uh, the next part will be, by the way, about uh, Precision 9 Compass for this autopilot. And uh, I will show you uh, packaging for this Compass now. And we continue in the next part. So thank you, like, subscribe. And if you want to see uh, packaging for the compass, you can do this right now. And so Precision 9 compass is a part of this setup also. Yeah, so it includes uh, mounting template with some aspects mentioned there. Yeah, some kind of guidance. Um, let's show technical information. You can post the video in case if you need this information. Yeah, so the compass itself, bracket for the compass, drop cable, the length I cannot find actually, and T connector with screws. I think that's it. Maybe I lost something because it was a long time ago. Yeah. Actually, this screw and bolts are not for T connector. They are really, uh, for the compass. So for the brackets, two bolts here to connect uh, uh, here. Yeah. For the seat and for the brackets, uh, for the bracket, uh, two screws. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we should avoid any magnetic um, fastening here. So, uh, it was about the Precision 9 Compass uh, packaging, and uh, I plan to install this in there in the next part, so that's why subscribe, like again, and again, thank you guys, uh, thank you, bye.